Welcome to Eucanic. Today here on Eucanic we have a 2020 Honda Civic and on this Honda Civic we're going to go over how you would change your brakes and rotor on the front. So first you would raise your vehicle and then be able to remove the tire and now we get to the access to be able to replace it. We have our rotor here, we have our um, caliper, carrier, and we have the brake pads in here. So we need to remove these components to be able to remove the rotor and you will support your vehicle with jack stands for safety and um, have your tires chopped. To start with we can remove this bolt, this screw here. This screw is just essentially for the uh, assembly process so that the rotors don't fall off. But if you have it and if it comes out you can easily still put it back in. It, it is helpful to keep your rotor in place when you're replacing the component. Now while the, the vehicle is raised up uh, whether you've got just one side or both sides, it's also very nice to just turn your steering wheel to the right, because we're working on the right side, and it gives us better access to the components we need. Um, this happens to have enough of an indent where we can get a screwdriver in here and be able to just pull on there. We're going between the rotor and we are depressing the brake caliper. All right, I think we're good there. Okay, now I'll just go ahead and remove this carrier. And that's the number 12. Oh, we're removing the caliper to gain access to the carrier. So we'll remove those two, and then we're able to just set this up here or hang it up. We just don't want to have excessive amounts of tension on the brake line itself. Now to get the uh, brake pads out we have these two little springs. We can pop those out. Now we can just pop the brake pads off. And then depending on whether your kit has new shims or not you would pop these shims off. The kit I have doesn't have the shims for whatever reason. Also, we like to re-lube uh, up our glide pins. So you're going to clean these off and put some fresh grease on it. Look at that a little much. I like to spin them as they go in. It coats all the sides. And just press it in. Do the same with the top one. And this is a specific uh, brake caliper grease that I'm using. Get it at your any local store, art store. There we go. Okay, so those are all lubed up. Now, for replacement of the rotor, if your rotor isn't damaged or doesn't have a groove in it and you feel it is straight, you're not getting any warping, you can sometimes get away with not replacing the rotor. It's always a good recommendation to just replace your rotors and brakes at the same time. You get full braking surface. So to remove this, we need a size 17. All right, we've removed our carrier. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray it with some brake cleaner to get some of that dust and debris off. Want our, uh, those uh, shims for the new pads to slide easily. Now, sometimes these rotors are on here pretty hard and so you might have to use a hammer and be able to get this off. Get this off. Not a whole lot of corrosion here, but if there is, you would, uh, you know, try to polish this up. Take a new brake rotor. And brake rotors come with a, uh, a coating on them so that they uh, don't rust in shipment. And so you're going to want to get that coating off. The little brake cleaner doesn't uh, fix for you. Like that. If the screw breaks or you, it's not there, it's not the, you don't have to have this screw. And for your ability, you just put a lug nut on here to keep it tight so that the rotor's not flopping around when you um, put the other components back on. Make sure you spray this side too. Get that uh, oil residue off. Make sure you're going to get it at a quick, well ventilated area. And then 
because we don't have uh, new shims for whatever reason in this kit, we're just gonna leave the old ones on there and reuse them the way that they are. Install the carrier back on here. Tighten that up. Now put our new brake pads on. So you're gonna have your brake pads. We've got our two different brake pads. One for the outside, one for the inside. The inside one is the one with the brake wear sensor on it. And so we're just gonna line that up and be able to install that one on the inside. And then the outside one is just flush. Go. So once you put the brake pads on and they're sitting in there, we have these springs that need to be put on. And they just go in the, there's little holes there and they'll sit in there. And these are to back the, the brake pads off of the, cow, uh, the rotor while you're going down the road um, and once you're done using the brakes. And once you put them in, because they're gonna spring out, you may need to hold your brake pads together as you Use your other hand to get the caliper to go over the top. Okay, there we go. Now, just go ahead and finish the install by tightening up your uh, number 12 millimeter screws, and you'll be good to go. All right where everything is on and tight and in place. And so that's how you would replace your uh, brakes and rotor on your 2020 Honda Civic. Um, go ahead, put your tire back on, lower it down to the ground, pour lug nuts to spec, and you're good to go. Thanks for watching Mechanic, where you can be the mechanic.